CES 2020 talking to Pranav Mystery, the mastermind behind Neon, the hottest tech that we've seen at the show. So tell me a little bit about the artificial human and what it took to create it. So artificial human or Neon as we call it, they are virtual beings. Uh, they look like us, they behave like us. Um, more, more than the, they are not AI assistants or, or your know-it-all bots. What is that Neon is all about is the, can, can technology be more like human? Can machines learn more about us rather than we learning about machines and becoming like machines? The aim behind Neon is to bring that human aspects for our interface to the technology. And that is what uh, we're happening. So what you're seeing over here is that real-time Neon reacting and showing her expressions behaving in real time. That is what uh, Neon is all about. And we are so excited, uh, not as a product company, but as a technology company that we are able to push the boundaries what science can create. Now, how can people use this? What are some of the practical applications? Yeah. So any any walks of the life where where we need people, which where people cannot reach, language barriers. There are there are places where uh, we uh, people cannot have uh, the connections of the real people to be being there. Any places where um, we need some help, not only in the in the B2B scenarios, but even in the personal scenarios. An old person wants someone to talk to, a friend, not, not always an AI assistant who can give him all the answers of the world. That is what Neon is all about. Some of, some of the simplest applications that we can see, the media and entertainment industry, will be the first place where we believe that Neons uh, will help us to bridge that gap between languages because the content of the world can now be spread to different part of it. The same way that happened with the books, when the books started translating in the older era, people started learning about new cultures, new learning about how people live in the other part of the world. We believe that that is what Neon will be able to enable us. And education industry, I want to learn a new language, but I don't want to learn that language from watching videos on YouTube, or I, I, want, I don't want to watch the, learn a new language by reading books. I want to learn from someone talking to me, remembering what how much I learn, and next week again teaching me from there, that point, that is what Neons will be able to provide us. How important is the human aspect to this? Yeah. We, as a, as a human, when a, when a baby is born, when a kid is born, when they look at the human face, they automatically recognize the human face. Biologically, or even we humans, we always react to human aspects. When we see some, we always wanted to make technology more human. That is why my three-year-old daughter she get more sad when the princess is sad because they can imagine themselves, they can portray, they can mirror themselves in that world. They can fantasize or they can imagine that, oh, I am part of that world, she can be part of my world. The human aspects is at the core of Neon uh, or, or, or Core R3 in one sense. And that is why we have trained Core R3 with, not with the data of the humans, but how humans look, how humans behave, how humans smile. And that is why we believe the human aspects is the most important part uh, of, of that. And one last question, how soon will this be ready for people to buy for themselves? What you are seeing today is nothing close to anywhere being ready. You are not imagine, don't imagine uh, that, oh, this is coming next year to your home or one year after you are going to start using that, no. We are, I'm a technologist, I'm a scientist. We wanted to give you a preview of what science boundaries can do. From there, we want everyone to be involved in this process back and forth and understand that what is the right thing to do, what is not the right thing to do. So what you're seeing is a very early, very, 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 very early preview of a technology. I would say maybe maybe next two, three years, this technology will be in beta stage and, and keep practicing in the real world and how it works, how it fails, we learn from that. I would say maybe three to four years after we will see some practical application in the real world. Uh, that's what we're imagining over here. Great, thank you. Thank you.